We got an opportunity last week to go to the Lake West Chamber Dinner. Yeah. Uh, it was at the Board of Realtors in the Chamber Office in Sunrise Beach. And man, what a great time. Had a good time. You know, the Lake West Chamber, uh, Mike and his whole team over there are incredible. The business owners on the West Side are amazing. Uh, and so every time we get together with them and we do this annual dinner with them, it is just such a good time. It's so much fun. And, uh, uh, you know, each of the chambers has their own personality. Lake Area has its personality. Camdenton has, and Lake West has its own personality, which is very fun, very, you know, uh, non-stuffy kind of yeah. a thing. They had uh, turkey legs as part of the dinner, you know, and everything. So I want to say, too, I did not use Silverware. Uh, you didn't. No, I refused to use silver on those turkey legs. I tried, but it's impossible. You got to go with the hands on the turkey leg. Oh, yeah, well, you eat a turkey <laughs> leg, right? Hey, shout out to Captain Ron's yeah. for the uh, incredible spread. They had that, do you that like Cheeto corn? Did mm, you try that? I didn't try it, but I saw it. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're on a diet. You've oh, been yeah, doing trying, really. Trying, not doing <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. But hey, it was a great night, and we got to give a shout out to annual MC Matt Sutcliffe. Yeah. does such a great job, and he got some help from Shannon, who was the uh, circus lead or the ring, whatever you call it, ring right? master, yeah, yeah, the ring master, yep. as it was a circus theme, and they gave out some awards, which are always great to highlight. I wanted to announce Rose Wright with Mortgage Headquarters. Uh, she was awarded, just a sweetheart. She does so much for the chamber. Uh, former president, who's outgoing, Sue Komet won yeah. a service award, and Sue is phenomenal. We know her through the. Uh, annual employment conference here at the lake and she does such a good job so involved wonderful lady and uh and then of course we saw the ambassador of the year tracy mckinney yeah. who man that lady loves the chamber it's amazing you won't go to the expo or a social or a chamber event and not be greeted uh by tracy so you love that and then the big one the distinguished citizen and community partner very fitting mark mawson with polylift boat lift made me cry yeah. you know i mean he's Mark is such an amazingly great guy. So is his brother, Mike. Yeah. I mean, really, they're a team. So when one wins something, they both win something. Uh, but Mark is so emotional, he got up there and he started, and I started to cry. And, you know, it's just a blubber fest out there. Uh, and, and it was uh, a great moment because you love seeing Mark get up there. And the first thing he said is, none of this is possible without my brother, yep. uh, Mike, because, you know, Mark does, he is more involved hands-on a lot of times and things. So he gets awarded or recognized more. But yeah, those two together, pretty incredible. And for Polylift Boat Lifts, they continue to give back. And I realized something important about what Polylift has done because there's boat lifts, right? But what they've done for other marine products, like mm -hmm. Wet Steps and, uh, icon and things of that nature there's so many lake inventions and products for your boat your dock your lake life that polylift has helped people put in their store and introduce to people and allowed their business to get up so it's not just about making a great product and building a legacy which their dad started and they've carried on very very finely but it's about spreading the love and passing on what you know in those introductions because the greatest thing we can do is not necessarily make money or make a great product, but it's about those connections we yep. can make to empower others. And the Mossons have certainly done that. You know, and I keep trying to get them on the Community Spotlight Show to get the, the story of Poly Live Boat Lifts and how it got started and, you know, how it's come to be what it is. They're so modest, you know, they don't really want to talk about themselves and, you know, pump themselves up. But we'll get uh, Tiffany on. She'll talk about I'll it. I'll keep trying. You know, okay. <laughs> Tiffany, or later. will you at least come tell us the Polly Lip story? <laughs> she she might. Oh, uh, God, we love Tiffany too. And I know for her, she loved seeing Mark get awarded yeah, because absolutely. she's another one. She wins stuff all the time. And yeah. so uh, pretty neat. Now, another award I thought was really cool, the Entrepreneur Award, Cody Hennick with Premier Advantage. What that young man has done is yeah. uh, just incredible. I didn't realize he was so young. For mm -hmm. some reason, I thought he was like a, middle-aged, you know, guy, very established, strong businessman. He is an established, strong businessman, but he's just a young guy. Yeah. I'm st I am was just stunned because I'd never met him before. He bought Advantage Marine, of course, yeah. from Dave and Connie Weir a couple of years ago when he changed the name to Premier Advantage, wanted to keep the Advantage name in there. And since then, not only has he grown that business, but they just offered their water location. I think it's the 38-mile marker, but yeah. it is massive. I saw pictures at the chamber dinner of their location on the water, I mean, I cannot get over what that guy is invested into that. And something that's really neat is when you talk to Cody's staff, including Dave and Connie, mm -hmm. everybody loves working for him. Yeah, that was the, his whole theme. He's like, 
I didn't win this award. My people won this award. You know, it's not me. And like it's he called us. them out. Yeah. Just, it was awesome. It was. It was amazing. Yeah. And I, I got to say, I didn't know a lot about Cody Hennick. I've talked to him on the phone a couple of times, but very impressed with that young man and what he's been able to do. And then, of course, our good friends, uh, Brittany and Ivan and the Rodriguez and Perez family. Oh, yeah. From Carmelitas and Don Chilios. They won the Small Business of the Year, much deserved. And uh, that was super cool to see. I love those people. Me I love too. Brittany. That whole family is amazing. Uh, they love Lake TV. If you ever go in to have dinner there, Lake TV is on. Yeah. You know, and uh, that is fantastic. But couldn't have gone to nicer, better folks. Love Brittany. I think you went to school with Brittany yeah. back in the day, didn't you? Yeah, she was a couple oh. years younger than me. Great athlete, but mm. Brittany always a super kind individual. And to see her have the success, and you know, of course, she married into that family, and I know she has been a huge part of oh, their success because she works. So she hard. is the community relations yeah. uh, person, and you know, she came from work. She rushed there, got there, didn't really know about yeah. it in her work clothes, and it was just really cool to see these small businesses that are giving back so much and. You know, that's hard work. It is. That place is packed all the time. Man. And I tell you what, I, I there has never been a time, one time, I went to Don Chalillo's like last week with Michelle, uh, and I, I did not see Brittany. I think that might be the only day of the year she took off. Or She was probably at the other because, store. She probably was. She was probably over at Carmelita's. You're right. Absolutely. They work so hard over there. They do. And hey, I'm going to just give a word to the wise. You go to Carmelita's. Get their steak, Carmelita. Mm -hmm. It's a ribeye marinated, sauteed mushrooms, onions, just loaded in uh, white queso dip. Uh, that's one you yeah. ought to try. All right.